All right guys, today I wanna to do a review on the Aris X110. Okay, it is suitable for both 3S and 4S batteries. You're going to need an XT30 connector. It is fully assembled, pretty much ready to fly. You need either a FlySky, FreeSky, Radiolink, or DSMX receiver. Uh, main features of the drone is that it's powerful, durable, super strong, and lightweight if you consider 96.5 grams lightweight. Okay, it's running 1106 4000 kV brushless motors. The props themselves are 2540s. It's running with an ESC, it's a 20A 4-in-1 D-Shot, and it has a, an accessible micro USB port slot right here um, to connect to Betaflight. Um, the camera itself is a Runcam Swift Mini with a 160 degree view. Um, the VTX is a 5.8G 48 channel. Um, and the flight controller is an Omnibus F4. The flight time with a 550 milliamp um, battery is anywhere from three to six minutes. A couple disadvantages I noticed right off the bat with this is with this inductor style frame, there you either have to snip, snip it off or go and buy yourself some shorter screws if you wanted to take them off or if you wanted to switch frames. Um, that's, that's one of the downfalls that I've noticed from this. Also with this inductor style, um, coming out of a power loop or a split S, you're gonna have a little bit of prop wash in there, I feel. Um, but overall, um, flies pretty sturdy. Um, and so yeah, I like this drone. It's a good beginner drone, it's a good intermediate, even advanced drone. So let's go fly it and uh, see how it feels and we'll give you a review on the flight itself. Hey guys, just got back from flying the X110. Had a pretty fun time. It was a blast, let's be honest. Um, let's see, let's, let's just dive right into the review itself and let's point out all the good things and let's talk about some things that we noticed um, there could be improvements on. Uh, overall, pretty good drone, pretty happy with it. Um, as far as the cost goes for the drone itself, it's, it's pretty on point. It's, it's definitely worth the value. Um, I like the, some of my favorite features are the wide point of view. Um, I like being able to see what's coming up. Uh, I don't like being surprised by any branches. Um, let's see what else do I like. Battery life is pretty good. Um, has with the, one thing I didn't mention earlier is it comes with a nice battery strap and it comes with Velcro. So there's, there's Velcro already on the frame itself. Um, and so you just put some Velcro on your battery and so it's double protection so it doesn't slide out. If you're looking for a good gift, um, here is the drone to get. Um, also another good drone that this reminds me a lot of is the Mobula 7. I know they're completely different classes, but it is very similar. And if someone's looking to get, if someone's already flying the Mobula 7 and they're looking to upgrade to 3S, 4S, they might consider um, looking at the Aris X110. All right, there you have it. Those are the pros. Those are the cons that we've noticed out of flying. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that it does have a pretty cool feature down here on the bottom. It has Velcro on the bottom of the drone itself. So you just slap some Velcro on your battery and you won't lose it if you hit a tree and spin out. Um, it does remind me of the Mobula 7. So if you have a friend or if you're, if you yourself are looking to upgrade from the Mobula 7 to maybe a 3S or 4S battery, and you want something similar to that, this is fairly similar. Um, and yeah, there it is. That's all I got for you. Thanks for joining us today. Check back next week for more adventures. Ready, break.